Hey everybody, Plushy here. So uh, this is gonna be a very impromptu video. I literally just got the idea while I was in the shower and uh, I really didn't have a script for this. So just take it as a more of a fun talk discussion rather than a actual informative video. So with the previous event and the current event, uh, we got a new difficulty of farming node, which is the 90 plus plus farming node. Um, in the previous summer event, uh, the if you need a refresher, the node was a 111 node with the last wave being a 1 million HP Enkidu. Um, this is where a lot of single target servants shined and a lot of AoE servants struggled. Um, and it's a little bit understandable and a little bit forgivable because it is a event with a damage bonus CE. So 1 million HP isn't as high as it looks. But the, this event is a little bit different. Uh, that event also you don't really need to farm it forever because it's just a single point ladder so after it ends it ends so even if you farm a lower difficulty node it's whatever but in this event this is a pseudo lotto event actually i would just call it straight up a lotto event because the tea shop you get qp you get embers and you get materials it's basically the exact same as a lotto and uh with the 90 plus plus node you not only get better drops uh, you also actually farm faster because it only has two waves. Uh, if you didn't know, for this 90 plus plus node, um, you have wave one, which is a 190,000 HP, the assassin. And then on the second wave, you have a low HP a T Nobu, as well as a 1 million HP uh, BB. Now, this is extremely troublesome because one, it's really hard to counter class a moon cancer. Uh, and two, this event doesn't have an event damage bonus CE. So it's really, really harsh. Uh, even with the god MP5 level 100 Ibuki I pulled uh, just in the last event, she was not able to actually nuke the 1 million HP BB uh, consistently without face cards. So it's, it's really... I don't know how to feel about this trend. Uh, this is really limiting a lot of choices you, you, you used to think it would be really great, um, but it also opens a lot of windows for servants that you've never thought of using the farm. Uh, you know, single target servants, namely, like Astrea is one of the biggest MVPs for this event, uh, for an example. So what does this mean? So I think uh, there are a couple of things that uh, this trend means, because I don't think this Night Plus Plus thing is leaving anytime soon. So the first thing is this might be the beginning of the end for arts looping. Now this is obviously a over exaggeration. Uh, what I actually mean is that um, arts looping isn't the end all be all form of farming anymore. Uh, with all the meta arts loopers you can think of, Space Ishtar, Summer Ibuki, uh, Summer Kama, uh, Musashi, all these people, they are not able to tackle HP this high. Um, as I've just said, even my level 100 MP5 Ibuki could not tackle the uh, the BB uh, with 1 million HP. It's it's really hard for these servants to do this amount of damage. It's just unrealistic, uh, especially with an event that doesn't have an event bonus CE. So maybe if you want to roll for an AOE arts, especially new ones in the future that are coming up, uh, if you're playing JP, uh, if you're just rolling them for gameplay, I really would think twice. If, if they come up with a super arts looper that is even better than Summary Buki, uh, I would still think twice before rolling if you only roll for gameplay. Because you never know how they will screw you up, uh, screw your DPS up with you know how they manipulate their farming nodes. The second point uh, is that I really don't want to, to admit it because I don't like how people really overhype a certain servant and Oberon is a very big reason to that. And I was going to make a video uh, when he is going to come out explaining why I think Koyan Light is more valuable than him. But uh, with this kind of trend, I'm not sure if I can say that anymore. Uh, with these nodes, all you want is a lot of battery because you can no longer refund and a lot of damage because the last wave has a lot of HP. And Oberon quite literally only does those two things, but does it very, very well. So Oberon stocks very high right now uh, with this trend. And then finally, it's not much of a uh, implication, but it's more of a complaint, I suppose. I don't know why uh, they have only been making 
AOE SSRs. Like the last single target SSR we've gotten was Trunk Sisters, which is quite a while ago. Uh, all of the following servants uh, were AOE, and I don't understand that. Uh, I really never enjoyed that many AOEs, uh, to be honest. I really want some boss killing uh, single targets. And especially now with this trend, uh, AOEs aren't the end all be all farmers anymore. So. Yeah, uh, Losango, please pull your pull your stuff together. Maybe they're doing this uh, so they can release a Omni Farmer single target servant in the future. But that is a little bit too tinfoil happy, so you know that's just something to think about. So, anyways, uh, I don't know. This video wasn't really anything uh, special. I literally just uh, took out my microphone and recorded it. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you feel about this new trend uh, of farming nodes being anti-arts looping. So anyways, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next one.